Hi, my name is Tanya Batts and I'm a personal trainer at Gold's Gym. How you can make your own fitness journal. It's really simple. The things you will need for this are a notebook and a workout log. You just want to get like a small notebook. I wouldn't get a real big one, just something kind of small that you can kind of take around with you, maybe take to the gym. Even smaller than this would be kind of great. But what you want to do is kind of log what you're doing. So, and I've even got a little piece of paper here. It's called a strength training workout log. And a great thing you could do, you can kind of put the, the exercise you're going to do and the date that you're doing this exercise, the pounds, you might want to do 50 pounds, three sets of 12 and then do the next one. And it's just a kind of a simple thing to do to kind of write it down and how you felt after the workout. That's even a great idea. And see the next day you can go back and say, why am I so sore? Holy cow, I did these squats with 100 pounds, that's why. So it's a great idea just to kind of log your exercise, see exactly what you're doing. Maybe when you get real good, you can realize, hey, I burned uh, 300 calories. And it kind of helps keep up with the calories that you're eating and, and how much you're burning off. So it is a really amazing thing to just kind of journal what you're doing, kind of journal your strength training log, and actually helps you chart your progress. So if you started off with 30 pounds, all of a sudden you're benching 100 pounds, holy cow, you've gotten stronger. And so it's just an amazing way to keep up with it. If you want to date it, make sure it doesn't have to be all in detail, but just, just simple little things. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical. I did this, I did that keeps up, kind of lets you know how, what a great job you're doing. So get yourself a little notebook, start logging what you do at the gym or at home or whatever.